And now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. This portion of the show is sponsored in part by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup. Rancho Leonero, where your wildest Baja dreams come true. Maui Gym Sunglasses, the choice of the best captains. Shimano Rods and Reels, fish with the best Shimano. And by Yamaha Outboards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup. Here we go. Another great hour of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. Here's Pete Gray and rock cod Rick Maxa. Welcome back. Hour number two. Let's talk hookup on Mighty 1090. Pete Gray here with rock cod Rick Maxa. We have Mike from the Tribute here out of C4 Sport Fishing talking fishing. Oh, my gosh. Right? So much fishing (laughs) to talk about. And it is April. Reminder, happy Easter, everybody. I hope you're having a great family day. And hope you're getting out there and uh, going fishing. You got it, man. And talking about the guy, we just got the, the, the tribute run so much. Such good tuna fishing all year long, all winter long. And now that we're moving into the summer, we've just got so much to talk about. And if you want to join us and talk to Captain Mike, two ways you can do this on Let's Talk Hookup. You can reach us with our local line, which is 858 area code 457 1090, or you can try the toll free number. That one's 877 792 1090. One more time, 877 792 1090. As you heard at the beginning of the show, not only talking all kinds of great information and Mike helping us out so much with, with all this great stuff, but we've also got an awesome prize. One lucky caller at the end of the show today is going to get to go fishing aboard the tribute. We've been talking about how nice it is. I got to ride with Mike last year and I, I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. The boat is extremely comfortable and I know that you're going to have a great time when you go. And one lucky caller is going to get to experience that with a one day or a day and a half trip coming up this summer to get to go on that great fishing trip. Indeed. Speaking of going fishing, we have our Shimano Let's Talk Hookup on the Water seminars. Uh, it schedules up on our website, hookup1090.com, hosted by uh, several great Southern California tackle stores. All the information's on there. First one's uh, already sold out. Uh, the Some Fun out of Dana Point on May 16th. Uh, but we do have spots on our Islander kayak trip yeah. that's uh, being booked out of Fisherman's Landing Tackle. Just call Fisherman's Ta- Landing Tackle. And um, there are a couple of kayak rentals left. If uh, Fast Lane, no? I, I yeah. yeah, we should be checking about that because I yeah. know there's only 10 available. and There's I've, only 10 available. They may be spoken for, but I know there's still spots if you have your own kayak. But, but give us yeah. a call because you're right. There might be a, might be there a, might be a spot. I'm not. I'm definitely not a, a 100% on, all right. on that. All right, but call Fisherman's Landing Tackle one way or another. We'll figure out a way to get you on the boat. But a day and a half Islander kayak trip to San Clemente Island going to be a, oh, man, what a great time. Oh no doubt. Yeah. And then uh, the next one after that is uh, uh, Friday, June 20th, uh, overnight on the Freedom out of Long Beach. Uh, and then we have uh, another great one on the Oceanside 95 on July 18th. Uh, all the searchers' uh, day and a half are sold out. Uh, a lot of them are going to get sold out very quickly. So go to our website, hookup1090.com, and then you call the representing tackle store listed with that particular trip and get on these trips because they are going to fill very, very quickly. As we talked about yesterday, our angler management trips with Captain Bob and Arisons have been filling. We have one Saturday to the Coronado Islands. Can you believe that? There was one spot left yesterday. Oh, oh man. No yeah. doubt. But I don't know when it's still ship. available. But then the following, a couple of weeks after that, he's got <laughs> another Coronado Islands trip available on that 26-foot scout. So you want to go with Captain Bob, check out amsportfishing.com or just check our trips page at Hookup. 1090.com and uh, get on those trips. You got it. Well, let's jump back into the phones because they are packed up. Everybody wants to talk to Mike. And how about we start this one off with Charlie, who's calling us from Gardena this morning. Hey, Charlie, thanks for hanging in there with us. Hey, good morning, everyone, and happy Easter. You Same too, year. Charlie. Happy Easter. Captain Mike, I was wondering if you could uh, talk about the binos. We talked about it yesterday on the show. I'd like to see if we get a little uh, your insight on that, and uh, could you recommend an entry pair and uh, maybe where to buy them, <laughs> and you know what size you need, that kind of stuff. I, uh, you know, what, well, we were talking about uh, binoculars here before the uh, show started this morning. Um, we've, man, it depends on what you're doing, what kind of boat you're in. Uh, if you're fishing a small boat, I was talking to Rick about the the stabies and how important they are, how how beneficial they are especially if you're fishing an area like uh say like the coronado islands you're using a um you know whether it's a 15 power binocular 10 power i mean really it gives you the possibility to look from one side of the island to the other and check out bird schools um i 
this time last year, I think we had one pair of uh, stabilized binoculars on the boat. Now I have three. I mean, three. It, they're, I, I, they're a, a critical tool now. You oh, heard man. Captain Brian Bostian talking about it yesterday. I have a pair of Frasers, a pair of Fujinons, and a pair of Nikons. Um, wow. It, depending on what you're doing. Uh, and, and really, it, it kind of changes with certain crew members like certain glasses. And mm-hmm. So, I mean, we're, we're pretty uh, pretty good selection there. And then the standard Baker 7x50s are probably one of the most versatile binoculars, whether it's uh, Baker or Fujinon. They're, they're very, very similar glasses. Um Baker Marine here in San Diego is is a great place to go in and talk to, and they do uh, binocular repair as well. Uh, But if you want to go in and and take a look at the different options, uh, whether you want to, you know, you're looking for binoculars on a budget, those Bakers are great, and I think they're about 350 bucks. You can spend anywhere from there up to 15 grand on binoculars, depending on how how brave you are. But the difference (laughs) is, once you go to a gyroscopic binocular, it's there's it's night and day. There's no like we were talking. You were talking about uh, fishing from a smaller boat. You you can kind of see fish uh, when it's bumpy from a seven by fifty. But if you have a pair of gyro binoculars, it can be really bumpy and you can still see fish. A, a, good, a good way to do it would uh, definitely not if you're driving but you know if your wife or friends drive pick up a pair of binoculars in the car try to use regular binoculars and not get seasick and then pick up a pair of uh, stabilized binoculars yeah. and it, even that little bit of vibration and everything else is gone yeah rick came out and, and fished with me uh last year actually it'd be the year, year before, before last now and I just had my had three pairs of plain old, uh, you know, the Baker 7x50 is on the boat, and I started using his Frasers. And since then, I think you've cost me about $7,000 <laughs> yeah. in binoculars. There, Thanks it, a lot, Rick. But the bottom line is you want you want uh, gyroscopic binoculars. There's no cheap way out. Right. There is no cheap way out. There's a Canon pair that is um, electronically stabilized, but th- it's not the same thing. Huge it's a difference. totally yeah. different Those deal. Those Frasers that we have yeah. are just awesome. So if you want a pair of the, the real gyros, if you go to our website, hookup1090.com, and you go to fish, the uh, related links, Fishing Tackle, click on it, it says Gyro Pros, which is uh, uh, Jimmy, and, and he is the, the Fraser Volpe rep here right. in the West Coast. He'll give you 100 bucks off with the code. But you're still looking over four thousand dollars, right. even at a hundred bucks off. The, but the, the, there are no discounts. Yeah. But that's the only discount you're going to find. So you go to our website, hookup1090.com, and you get, uh, you click on that, and then you get that, uh, the code. You get a hundred bucks off. And if you want to go, that's what it's going to cost. And and I want to say too, just going back when you were talking about, you know, a lesser expensive thing, they are they are not gyros. You know, field binoculars are great, but I, I just want to throw my two cents in too. Those guys at Baker Marine Baker make guys. without question for the price. There is not a better pair of field glass you can get, especially with the eye cups and and you know and on the skiff bouncing around. We I mean yesterday we had a pair of Bakers and a pair of gyros and and the one thing too you you know you pull the bakers up and put them on your iro fast you're not waiting for the gyro motor to spin up or anything but but yeah and there's somebody that's local that you can talk to and awesome guys yeah the uh by lights uh that that, that Jimmy uh, Kingsmill is selling that y- from that you uh, have right that I have that are, are they're lighter weight uh, the, the new pound pound and a half 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 lighter and they spin up really cool. You yeah. turn that button on, it's ready in like well, 15 seconds. And they, they scan faster, too. I, I saw him on the bait receiver uh, yeah. last year, and he, he handed me the pair real quick just to take a look at. And it just, I, yeah. they are expensive, but man, they're nice. They're so nice. It, <laughs> nothing it, like having a pair it's of It's an investment. I mean, yeah. and, if you, and you think there about you how much fuel you're going to save. How did it make a difference in you catching yellowtail yesterday? Well, that's what we were saying. I mean, you can, you can see so much farther, and, and you can look effectively. And that's the, those are the two things that it's one thing to be able to see for every way, but you can't, you know, you can't stabilize power that, that high. And that was it. You know, we caught our fish away from everybody. I mean, truly, truly away from everybody and enough that you can still look above and still look below and you can keep an eye on what other people are doing and you can keep an eye on where you are at. And, you know, we were just bird school fishing and when your bird school would dry up, you can you can scan, I mean, a multiple mile area to see yeah. where it moved to or where an air, another area is flared up or, or get away from an area. It's just a they're they're a, an invaluable tool. You can't. It's an expensive price tag, but you can't put a price on it. Yeah, exactly. And like anything that's expensive, if you take care of it, you'll have it for the rest of your life. It's it's, it's a it's a it's a long term investment. Exactly, for sure. And that's the way you have to look at it. If you if you're serious about your fishing, you want to catch more fish. It's basically it's like a must have thing, right? Oh, it is. You know, um, that a lot of that yellowfin fishing uh, we're doing around the 302 this year. Small spots of turns, um, sure waters, and sharks, and, and, and oh, a lot of right. lot of good fishing on hammerheads. 
But there is uh, instances where you're fishing in, in a crowd like that, and th- those binoculars are so good. I mean, finding bird schools that are five miles away isn't mm-hmm. unheard of. I, I've uh, when we first started using them on the Excel, we had a, a spot of frigates and booby birds that was like 11 miles. Oh and God. Pat Cavanaugh at the time said, "You know what? We got to start. Okay, we got to be within reason here. That is too far. It's you know, on a sport boat, you're luck- looking at over an hour run. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it's possible to look too far with those things. Yeah, so uh-huh. having two different pairs of glasses, like the regular Bakers, and uh, maybe a pair of stabilized. I mean, different field of view. You can see a lot." A lot wider uh, range with uh, standard binoculars, but if you're looking for bird schools like that, I mean, they're they're priceless. That's it. You bet. Hey, all, all right. right. Very good. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Time to find that fishdope.com report. Well, our fishdope.com report today is sponsored by Bagamakatsu Hooks. It's Japan's leading fish hook that sets the standard for quality and innovation, strength, and durability. It's the big fish season. The big fish long-range boats are on, and the big fish are biting right now, and that Gamakatsu Super Nautilus hook is the one that's putting big fish on the deck. It has the strength and durability to help you catch your fish of a lifetime. Get the Gamakatsu Super Nautilus hook at your favorite tackle store, and be sure to take advantage of those Great deals that Gamakatsu has. Hopefully, we'll be seeing another great deal coming up right here at uh, the uh, Day of the Docks. Day of the Docks. You, you betcha. Well, good morning, not- Dave. Hey, good morning, you guys. Good morning. Hey. Good morning. I was listening to Frank yesterday on your show, and it's just like my dad was saying the other day. This is the good old days, guys. <laughs> it has never, ever been like this. People say 1983. Well, it wasn't like this in 83 either. We've never (laughs) seen it like this, guys. So if you're not going out fishing, I really can't even imagine what you're waiting for because it's all happening right now. I had guys, clients of mine yesterday down there on the 9, between the 9 and the 182. They had bluefin. They had yellowtail on kelps. Another guy was at Catalina yesterday. Two guys on a skiff. They had 17 yellows at Catalina yesterday, up to 15 pounds. A lot of that smaller grade fish, but still it's yellowtail and it's April. Good fishing at Clemente when the islands open. You guys got to pay attention to that, though. The Navy's had about enough. They post it everywhere you could possibly imagine you can read. Don't go to the island if it's closed. They're doing everything they can. What's going to happen, guys, is they're going to close it for everybody They'll close forever. It for everybody forever. Yep. And then you're all going to say, "Oh, d- dang Navy!" It was and Dave's fault. National <laughs> security. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Don't mess with our national security. Bottom line, follow yeah. it. Listen to them. If they call you off on the radio, leave. Right. That's it. Right. Well, it shouldn't even get to that anymore. I mean, that's just not 1980. This is. 2015, guys, there's a newfangled thing called the Internet, and you can go on there, and you can see when the island's open and when it's closed. Right. And Easy. it's gonna, they're going to close it. It's going to be done yeah. because they've had about enough. Every time they have to send a helicopter up there to get you guys out of that cove, it costs a phenomenal amount of money, and it takes guys out of what they're supposed to be doing. And what's going to happen is someone's going to lose their life, and then the joke's going to be on us. Yeah, yeah. Good, good words of advice there, Dave. But in the meantime, there's fish there, and if you go when the Navy is open and when they allow you to to be there, you can catch some fish. Oh, my gosh, the fishing is incredible everywhere. There's really – Catalina's incredible. There's incredible. The Coronados, the 150 bit yesterday again. The yellow's been on the 150. It's just – you got to just, like I've been saying every week we've been talking, throw a dart at the chart and go wherever the dart lands, and there's a pretty good chance you're going to catch some fish. <laughs> yeah. There you go, Dave. And, of course, you keep up to date on everything on fishdope.com. I was checking it out yesterday to see what was going on. They had it all nailed to a T. Danny was on it. And this week, if you're a new member to Fish Dope, you want to get 20 bucks off, Hook up 1090 is the code you use to get Fish Dope. Just as important as a pair of binoculars, a good boat, a good captain, you got to have the information at fishdope.com is the spot. And, Dave, how do we go fishing with you? And if you guys want me to come with you on your boat and show you how we do it, I'd be more than happy to. That's what I do for a living. Look at me up on yoursaltwaterguide.com. Or you can give me a call at 949-374-0786. I'd be more than happy to show you how we do it on your boat and how to use those gyro binoculars. There you go. All right, Dave. Thanks a lot for that. We'll talk to you next Sunday. All right, guys. See ya. See All you, right. Dave. See you later. Hey, another captain, another professional. It'll take you on your boat or his boat 
Captain Bob Aronson from Angler Management. Good morning, Bob. What's up, Bob? Good good morning, Pete, Rick, Mike. How's it going? Doing great, awesome. man. How's that fishing? Oh, man, again, again. I mean, it just seems like every time I uh, get out, it's just uh, better and better and better. And uh, yesterday, uh, we were over at uh, Coronados again, and... Uh, uh, it's not a surprise. I mean, I had four guys on the boat that were, you know, they'd never caught yellowtail or anything like that before, and we ended up with 18 yellowtail and three huge bass. Nice. And this is this is the what I wanted to tell you guys. It's it's a lot of guys are passing this up. What we're doing, what seems to be working really good for us on a skiff, is we're trolling the X wraps. We're getting the boat stopped on the X traps and then we're bait fishing. And we're getting more bait fish than we are on the X traps, but, but you're getting we're getting located. the boat stopped and it's locating it. We don't have size, uh, size can sonar on the skiff. So, you know, it's hard for us to, to locate where this school is. So that's how we're doing it. And, and you ta- you turned me on to that at the Fred Hall show. I told you it was going, where we're going to the Lions. So I was trolling X traps. And you are absolutely right. Stop the boat. we stop the boat yeah. every time over there. I'm not kidding you, and it's and it's it's getting quality fish too. Yeah, it's, that's uh, right. Uh, it, it's been good. It's been really good. But I, we got three bass that I mean just absolutely blew my mind. It was <laughs> one cool. of them went about six pounds. Nice. <laughs> and this was on the X wrap. On the X wrap. How about that? Huh? And, and, and so seven, you're not at seven knots. And, and <laughs> so you're covering ground, and more importantly, you're not tr- you're not dealing with sea lions. If you're yeah. trying to slow troll a sardine or a mackerel, oh, you're you're getting yeah. bonita strikes all the time, or you're getting sea lions sea all lions. over you. So. Yeah, no, no exactly. doubt. Good call, Bob. The, yeah, but the thing is, though, is you've got to be careful, too, you know, and 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 use your better judgment. Don't get too close. Like if there's a bunch of boats hanging around that are bait fishing or or uh, surface iron fishing or something like that, don't be blazing through them. And yeah, say, well, oh, the that's not going to be. Like that. Yeah. yeah, but so the Rapala X Rap, what size? Twenties uh, is what we've been what we've the been 20s? using. Okay. Yeah. Any particular color? Uh, the blue and silver. Blue and silver. All right, that's, Bob. Uh, now, what about we just talked about your trips? Did we fill that last spot next Saturday? Not yet. We okay. Need one more on that, and uh, but I'm sure we'll probably get it. It's. Uh, God, it's I, good fish. People, you got to get out there, man. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, it looks like the weather's going to be nice <laughs> next yeah. Saturday. So, Angler Management, amsportfishing.com, or you can get the information from Bob on our website, on our trips page, hookup1090.com. One spot next Saturday, April 11th, to go fishing at the islands with Captain Bob on his uh, beautiful yeah. 26-foot twin Yamaha-powered, uh, fully equipped uh, scout it's, it's such awesome. the perfect boat. Yeah, it's a great boat. Yeah, th- thanks for that. Yeah, the guys yesterday had a blast. There was four guys on the boat, and they just, you know, at the start of the thing, they didn't know really what was going on. And by the end of it, they said they're ready to go again now that they know what's going on. And then we have several <laughs> trips, May 6th, June 9th, July 28th, both on the Scout as well as the Th- Cabo 35 with Bob. So just check those out, amsportfishing.com or on our trips page, hookup 10 com. And what's your phone number, Bob? Uh, area code 760-310-7802. All right. Thanks, Bob, for the report. Glad you got them. All right, guys. See you, Bob. Thanks again. See you later. Great show. Thanks. Uh-huh. All right. Let's jump right back into the bones. They're packed. Everybody wants to talk to Mike. Let's talk to Sam, calling from Irvine. What's up, Sam? Welcome to the show. Thanks for hanging in there, Sam. Yeah. Morning, Sam. Good morning, uh, Captain uh, Mike there. Uh, I've been out in your boat many times. One thing that people don't mention is your crew filleting the fish. I mean, you guys pep up that fish when uh, we're heading back in great. But um, the other thing is... Uh, uh, the biggest bluefin I've ever caught has been on your boat or schools I've been into. Have you, are you going to target those this year? Uh, we're, we're still doing it. Yeah, we <laughs> never stopped. <laughs> still happening. It, it, it's, I mean, it, it's easy to, to be kind of out of the loop. Uh, you know, a lot of our, a lot of people we've talked to lately, even at the Fred Hall show, you know, avid fishermen that just assume wintertime is downtime, no tuna. But we've had some great bluefin fishing lately. There's uh, local bluefin that have been caught. We, uh, we have trips. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, local bluefin fishing. And then Friday night's uh, sold out. It's a day and a half. Uh, we're probably going to keep doing that. But, yes, uh, um, as long as we can, we will uh, we will be fishing them. I would imagine with all this warm water 
Uh, it's probably going to be a great yellowfin year. It'd be nice to see some big eye, but uh, we did have some, I mean, really some just trophy bluefin last year into the mid 100 pound, you know, 150 pound range. Right. Um, and I, it, they're here. I, you know, talking to Rick, he was talking about seeing puddling fish that, you know, looked like they were well over 100 pounds. So uh, we will be doing uh, one day or day and a half trips. Uh, best way to take a look at our, our schedule is to go on seaforthlanding.com or, seaforth, or uh, tributesportfishing.com. We have trips uh, throughout this week and uh, a lot of really good sponsored trips. Uh, some of them are sold out, but um, we will be doing it, uh, whether it's bluefin, yellowfin, big eye, yeah, we're, we're, we're kind of we're, we're kind of pushing the, uh, the albacore thing out, but you never know. I mean, with right. all this warm water, uh, whatever is handy, we will be fishing. The one thing I want to take my hats off to Mike is that boat goes fishing all the time. And I remember when this Cortez thing, which you guys turned into a very successful run for everybody, was even when there was when there was a crowd that you probably shouldn't have gone on. You know, six people or ten people when it was just getting going and kind of none of us believed that you could catch a bluefin that time of year. The boat was always going away from the dock, and you always kept things going. And that's not easy because that's money that's coming out of your pocket that's not going in. I mean, you, a guy that owns a sport boat certainly isn't making any money when they run to the Cortez with eight people, but yeah. it keeps the run alive. And next thing you know, there's a you, you get your rewarded. Full. We what? as passengers yeah. all get rewarded because you, you know you keep things going. and We get to go catch those fish. So. One thing, uh, and this is is something that um, you know I've talked to the landing uh, about. If we commit to running. Unless it's weather uh, related, I mean, we might say it's a for sure go, but if the weather is unsafe, obviously we're, we're going to cancel the trip. If if you look at um, our schedule and if there's four people on it and it says for uh, that we're going to go for sure, if four people, sh- I mean, honestly, I'd hate to say it, if two people showed up, going. I, we're, we're going to go fish. I, and uh, thankfully that hasn't been the case for the most part. But um, yeah, we're you know if we commit to running a trip, we're going to go. You're going. All right, and yeah, fishing with eight people is pretty nice, but yeah, not, not on my but end. You didn't do that too often, fortunately, right? <laughs> no, just a couple times. Thank yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. All right. Hey, when we come back, we got more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. More of your phone calls. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Doing business with the right company always pays off, and Job Site Supply is that kind of company. Selling commercial contractor supplies since 1987, Job Site Supply specializes in quality and service. With lines like Milwaukee Electric Tools, their name says it all. Dependable Job Site Delivery on the newest Milwaukee tools like the M12 Compact Vacuum and the M18 Cordless Shears. With an expansive inventory and knowledgeable staff, make Job Site Supply your source for Milwaukee tools. Check Job Site Supply Co.com for more details. 22nd Street Landing Sport Fishing in San Pedro is home to LA's finest open party fleet, including overnights on the Freedom, Catalina Freelance on the Pursuit, half day trips on the Monte Carlo, and three quarter day trips on the Native Sun. Plus, you can charter the Ultra, Spectra, and True Line. There is always plenty of free parking and a fully stocked tackle store. Take advantage of the Wednesday specials on the Pursuit in Monte Carlo, and kids fish free with a paid adult on the afternoon half day. 22nd Street Landing Sport Fishing in San Pedro. Call 310-832-8304 or book online at 22ndstreet.com. If you are ready to experience a real Alaska fishing adventure, check out Whaler's Cove Lodge in Angoon, Alaska. The calm waters around Whaler's Cove are 100 miles from any large towns, so you will enjoy a wilderness adventure without any crowds. Whaler's Cove Lodge has some of the best salt and freshwater fishing in Alaska, and there is no need for a bumpy boat ride for hours. You can find productive fishing for salmon, halibut, and rockfish just 10 minutes from the lodge. Whaler's Cove also offers fantastic freshwater fishing in wilderness streams for wild salmon and trout. The Whaler's Cove experience will fulfill your wildest Alaskan dreams on the calm water of the Inside Passage or on a spectacular stream. It's your choice every day at the Whaler's Cove Lodge. After fishing, you will dine on fabulous meals created daily by the Whaler's Cove chefs and relax in your comfortable room or cabin. Learn more about this exciting Alaska destination on their website at whalerscovelodge.com or call 800-423-3123. Whaler's Cove Lodge, a real Alaskan fishing adventure. Are you feeling that itch to get out on the water? Come fishing on the American Angler and reacquaint yourself with some familiar faces and make new friends. Captain owners Brian Kiyohara and Sam Patella take pride in every aspect of the American Angler operation, from their loyal and trusted crew to the sashimi-grade fresh fish you'll take home. It's easy to find a vacation that fits your schedule. We have everything from day and a half to 10-day trips and longer. Call me at the office, 619-223-5414, or check us out at AmericanAnglerSportFishing.com. We want you to become a part of the American Angler family. 
It's time to get excited about fishing, and Point Loma Sport Fishing has everything you'll need. They offer half-day and three-quarter day trips daily, perfect for families and the novice or seasoned fishermen. Point Loma Sport Fishing also offers overnight to multi-day trips, targeting the best of seasonal catches. Visit their website at pointlomasportfishing.com where you can purchase tickets online and get more information on the trips available. Or call 619-223-1627. XSRFS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. You're listening to the home of the Padres. Padres are playing some kind of baseball. San Diego's sports leader, the mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Phones are packed. They want to talk to Captain Mike Pritchard from the Tribute, so let's do it. He sounds good to me, man. How about we jump into him, talk to Jeff, calling us from Costa Mesa this morning. What's up, Jeff? Welcome to the show. Hey, good morning. Happy Easter, guys. Same Happy to you, Easter. Jeff. Yeah, all right. Hey, uh, Mike, I, I was wondering, uh, do you use, uh, and how would we do it, uh, the fisherman's processing, if we go out on a trip? I've never used them before. You know what, on uh, on our multi-day trips, uh, we'll have them waiting for us at the dock when we get in. Uh, and if it's like a two-and-a-half day or longer, we do three-and-a-half. Uh, this year we have a five-day on the schedule. Um, on those trips, they'll usually meet us at the dock. Um, if it if it's on a day-and-a-half trip and you let us know in advance, you can let them know. Um, it's, it's not real common to use them on shorter trips. And you can always take your fish to them. Yeah, they um, have that night drop, too. Whether or not we flay them on board and you want to take them to have them do the final uh, and have them uh, vacuum sealed um, or just take it uh, to them when they're open. I, I'm not sure exactly what their hours are. They're if, open almost every day. If you call them and make prearrangements, they'll either meet you at the dock or have, make available for you the option for you to drop your fish right. off the fisherman's process. When uh, Sean and Rosie were on the show a couple of weeks ago, they they were mentioning that too that you know it's all about availability. They said if if there is if they have people as long as there's basically not five long range boats all coming in the same day and you you let them know like Pete said ahead of time, they'll come down and pick them up for you. The only rare instance when that wouldn't happen was just when all of the crew, you know, there's the Royal Polaris is down in one landing and the American Anglers at the other and everybody's coming at the same time. That's the only time when a person might need to drop fish off to them. But even if you're coming in early in the morning from a day and a half trip or you got in late from an overnight trip, they have that drop box service where somebody can call and it's basically a, a locked bin that you put a colored zip tie and Pete says, okay, I'm coming in at 5 o'clock in the morning. I know there's not going to be somebody there. So, okay, Pete, well, your color is green. Here's the combo to let yourself in. and It's a locked box and put a green zip tie on the tails of all your fish and dunk them in there and they'll stay in a, in a slush bin. Come back and bin. pick them up in a couple hours. You can, that's pretty good. Yeah, they do a great <laughs> yeah. job. Hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. All right. How about next up we talk to Joe calling us from San Diego. Hi, Joe. Thanks again for hanging in there with us. Hey, how you doing, Rick? Joe? Good morning, Joe. Good morning. Hello? You What's have there? a question, Joe? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say hello to Rick and Pete and Frank and Ryan and Mike and Happy Easter to everybody. Yeah, you too, happy Joe. Happy Easter. Uh, I just like to promote the, the Day at the Docks coming up here on Sunday, the April the 19th, and tell everybody to come out and have a great day. The Fisherman's Booth is awesome. Friends of Rolo, there's kids fishing, prizes, there's booths food, there's seminars, great deals for everybody. There's a band and a giant raffle. It's a and, fun day. Uh, bring the whole family because there's something for everybody. Sunday, April 19th, uh, Rock Cod Rick will be broadcasting live from the location. I'll be on the Royal Star, yeah, you sorry, <laughs> on our long range trip. Uh, but uh, the booth will, the Let's Talk Hook Up booth will be manned by our Iron Man, Gary White, as well as the Cod Father, <laughs> Richard Maxa. And uh, so we'll have Let's Talk Hook Up. Uh, T-shirts and hats, and uh, uh, they'll be there hanging yeah. out. And Ricky will have a great show. It's kind of nice because it's kind of a variety show. You get kind of everybody around to come over and talk. And Day at the Docks is so fun because everybody's there, and, and, yeah, you get to see people from, you know, maybe this guy setting up this booth, and we've had Steve Carson, we've yeah. had different captains there's, there's and all good, kinds of. good chance this year you're going to see some fish being unloaded from local boats, too. I think you're right, oh, man. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely right. right. Thanks hey, for the Rick, are you still there? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Joe. I'd just like to say if anybody needs any repairs, bring their stuff over to Fisherman's. They do a great job. Fixing your rods, and I know it's going to be a great season coming up. Yes, it sure, is Joe. indeed. Thanks a lot for that, Joe. Yeah, Fisherman's Tackle, uh, Fisherman Landing Tackle, they do uh, rod reel repair. Yeah, Joe's one of the guys that does some uh, rod work for us. And okay. Does an awesome job on uh, on, on doing on the rod, rod repair. Some rods for sure. Yeah, it's a All lot right. of fun. Yeah. I think you've repaired a couple of my rods before, <laughs> Joe. 
Nice. I, yeah. I hope you like them. Oh, well, it's awesome. Great okay. work. Thanks right, a lot for the call. You guys have a great Easter right. and a good day. All right. Thank thanks you. for the call. How about next up? We talked to Brian, who's called us from Chula Vista this morning. Hi, Brian. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning, Pete, Rick, Captain Mike. Good hey, morning, so Brian. Brian. Happy Easter to all of you. Same to you. I just wanted to compliment Mike on the the upgrade and the refit he's done on that boat. I mean, I've had such a thrill just watching on his all his Facebook pictures from when he was gutting it to That's putting funny. on the mahogany rails last year. Just the passion and the pride that he's taken in in making that boat the best that it can be. As soon as I get my my in- income tax check this year, the very first thing is I'm logging on and booking a trip. There you go. Yeah, That's, That's very cool. nice. You know, yesterday morning I. Um, Hey, this isn't going to be a real big year for boat work just because of the, the fabulous fishing that we've had. But yesterday morning we were down there uh, putting a coat of paint on uh, some spots, and it's I, I, I do appreciate it. Um, I, I really feel like I'd like to do a lot more boat work this year, but obviously we're not going to pass up the opportunity to keep catching these fish. But I, I do appreciate it, and the boat has come a long, long way. One thing um, we're we're doing this year. Since I, I bought the boat, um, our port wall, as you walk into the galley, has been blank, and it's been reserved just for Bill Poole uh, pictures, who uh, the, the boat's named after. It, it's a tribute to Bill Poole. It was the Players 3. Um, I did spend years running the Excel for him. And talking to Ingrid Poole lately, she's uh, putting together a little collage of, of, oh, of memorabilia. Cool. And, um, you know, he, he's passed. What a great guy to have worked Unbelievable. for. Unbelievable. Um, really, just really the legend. You got the shirt on. I got right, I have the uh, right Bill Poole legend shirt on. Today. So there's yeah. going to be that, that port wall is um, hopefully here in the next couple of weeks. We'll have some uh, some pictures on it. But it's um, it, that's a, a few of the upgrades, it's, aside from the, just the normal stuff we're doing this year. But. Uh, it's any chance we get, we can continue to make it better. Yeah, <laughs> and that was what Bill Poole would want. That uh, was know, what I, he did to sport fishing. I he gotta, just made it better. I gotta say, I, I talked to Ingrid and I said, "Man, I really wish Bill was around for this year. What what a yeah, great year!" Right? And, and she said, "He is the reason for this year." And I said, I, sure. "I'm so sold yeah. on that. I, I agree." Down on us saying, "Yeah, <laughs> this is it. Uh, he, this is what the culmination uh, of what uh, I worked he, all those years for." He's smiling. <laughs> no what, doubt. What a year to. I'm with. I'm with Brian, you know, I mean, I, I've enjoyed seeing, you know, on your Facebook page, you guys putting up all the photos of just, you know, obviously you guys take a lot of time, because it's not an easy thing to do, you got a lot going on, but you always take time to take a bunch of photos and post them up on your Facebook page, and then when you are in, you put pictures of doing work to the boat, and it's always fun to follow along when we're when we're sitting at home, so I'm, I'm with I'm, you on I'm that one, Brian. I'm convinced that Captain Mike just never sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how he does it, man. He's got, a, he's either got a lot of good support system in there, and because that new there website's is. really cool, too. You have a new website. Uh, yeah, you know, Terrence from uh, uh, 976 did that, and, and you know, trying really to update it. Good. Really, it is... It's a huge pain in the butt trying to oh, take yeah. pictures during a bite. And that's one thing I've, I've been trying to push Jake at lately. I said, man, you got to start taking pictures. And especially for a young, excited captain like that, he goes, I, I can't take pictures. I got a gaff, gaff, man. But uh, <laughs> when, they, when I was on the Excel and we really started updating it, and uh, there's a really good chance you're going to see Wi-Fi here um, on, on some of these shorter range boats in the next couple of years. I've talked to Chad at sportfishingreport.com, and it's a – if it gets a little more feasible, there's a good possibility. But to be able to update like that, um, once you're, you're, you start doing it, you feel like you owe it to your people to keep it going, whether it's pictures of the boat, the maintenance, uh, fish, you know, uh, even sunsets, stuff like that. I mean, people live vicariously or live through your website between trips. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's nice to be able to offer that. You bet. No doubt. Hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. All right, let's jump right back into the phones. This time we're going to talk to Paul. Paul's coming from Bellflower. Hi, Paul. Welcome to the show. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Paul? Uh, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. My question is to my captain, the captain. All right. Um, when when did you get started, and how, how did you get started and get involved in fishing and stuff? You know, it, um, very similar to what Frank said yesterday, uh, I, I grew up uh, up in Fillmore, up by Magic Mountain, Ventura County. Uh, I fished as a kid. Uh, I gotta say, fishing behind the Fillmore Fish Hatchery was always quite quite a <laughs> pleasure. <laughs> it was some big trout. But I moved to Ventura. Uh, my mom worked at a, a place called Pacific Currents, which owned Ventura Sport Fishing. And being an avid fisherman, I, I started working on boats when I was about nine years old, um, and really started working. Weekends and summers, uh, between surfing and everything else. I mean, it, it was it was a constant terror. Um, my uh, coach at Ventura High School was really trying to get me to wrestle and and play football. But something about fishing, just at the time, 
if I missed a trip, I was so I, if I woke up late or something, I was just it was so you know such a bummer Bummed. trying to do that. And really, it probably kept me out of a lot of trouble there. Spending the summers on boats, um, I have had some young kids work with us that I, I'll make them take time off. I said, look, I, I understand you know you want to be on the boat, but you also have to be a kid. And you know if, if they're into playing baseball or whatever else you have to I, I love having you know younger guys on the boat come out and you know get a taste of sport fishing um but that was it i, I was so hooked on it i started working uh deck and uh, moved down to san diego and in 96 went to work uh, for ray sobiak on the producer who not the easiest guy to work for but what a great guy to learn from i mean man he was a very very avid uh fisherman very very good fisherman and uh, from there, um, just kind of working up the ranks, spent a lot of time on the Excel. Uh, the Excel was the first boat that I ever ran. And I was so nervous when we left the uh, the <laughs> dock that I told the, our passengers we were going to go to the fuel dock to load up on our bait. So, <laughs> I mean, really just what a what a, a great, uh, really a great experience. And having a... And then buy-in. working for Bill Poole, my God. Oh, man. What, what a great guy to talk yeah. to. Just yeah. that hours of... Uh, conversation and and he had never repeat himself. Yeah. I, did, did you ever think you would own one of his boats? Honestly, if you would have told me when I was 14 years old that I would have been buying, which at the time was the holiday, and I would have had good successful years like this, I wouldn't have believed you. Well, I mean, really, it is what I wanted to do, and, and thankfully, it's all worked out very well. But and you got to love timing. Um, well, timing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's two great. really good years, and I think the best one's still coming. You, you I, got you're it, right. Hey, Indeed. thanks a lot for the call this morning. All right. Thank you. How about next up? We talk to John calling us from Mira Mesa this morning. Hi, John. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Good morning. Hey, Mike. Um, on the uh, Cortez trips, um, when the when the bluefin thing isn't happening, you switch gears to uh, bottom fish. Do you recommend bringing like a dedicated? set up for that or um how deep are you fishing etc that kind of well, thing the um the nice thing with the rockfish fishing out there um it's shallow it it is in the calcod conservation zone so we're limited to fishing 20 fathoms but it's very very good fishing out there if you look um on our facebook page uh, and go back um, a couple weeks very good rockfish fishing a couple really nice halibut to go with it and uh some really good yellowtail fishing um Last week, uh, Jake was out there. He started his morning, had some yellowtail, had really good rockfish fishing, and then he went to go look for for the bluefin that was missing and saw a couple of spots um, out there by the butterfly, which probably is what turned into what this local fishing is. Um, But anywhere from 15 to 50 pound, 15 to 40 pound, uh, you definitely want to have some yo-yo rods, which uh, for the most part make a a great bottom fishing rod, whether you're fishing a jig, um, a four or six ounce torpedo weight, but that, that your 40-pound setup, something that you can turn uh, turn fast enough to fish a yo-yo jig with or fish the bottom. There you go. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Tom in San Diego, you're up next on Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning, Tom. Well, good morning, guys. Hey, uh, while I wish Matt the best, uh, <clears throat> I certainly would volunteer to be a food tester on your boat, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> our, our food um, is, is, is very, very good. Yes, I, it I is. I have not been on the boat here in the last couple of months. Um, I... I really miss it <laughs> but we do uh we do try to try to keep it exciting and uh make the best of it right and i have a question about if you're in a school first of all i do want to say day at the docks is great that's actually where i went to my first seminar steve carlson put it on it was magnificent i don't know 10 years ago whatever steve but carson is it, awesome yeah he is good if you're out there and you come across a nice school of bluefin and you're thinking you want to go after maybe the bigger ones in the school uh what what would you suggest doing or trying to do uh, if if you figure that out, let me know. Um, <laughs> right. I, I, you can, and and one thing I got to say that we do, and uh, we're actually very very good at, is fishing the kite on on our shorter range trips. Um, I, you talk to some some people on boats, and they say the last thing they want to do is try to deal with the kite. But and some of those bites, um, if we can get a mackerel out on a kite, um, you know, it, it's one way to pick a bigger fish out of it. But in general, um, you know, big bait, big fish does work in a lot of cases. But just getting bit, if you're in a spot of bluefin, just um, being able to pu- pull on them and uh, put them on the boat um, and just kind of pick through them that way. I, there's really no easy way to say it um, unless there's a bigger bait laying around. I think that would be about it. Yeah, I don't think you can target a big one, but you can certainly fish gear that's appropriate enough that if you get lucky enough to hook a big one, you can get it on the boat. You know, Fish the heaviest tackle you possibly can while still getting a bite. 
A lot of our bigger bluefin last year did come on the yo-yo jig. We had um, That's a good call. I, you're, you'd be looking way back, but pictures um, on our Facebook page of a lady that was fishing with us, little uh, 90-pound, you know, fishing a yo-yo jig, a little teeny girl, and she ended up getting about a 150-pound bluefin out of it. It was, so it was awesome. Nice. So cool. Tom, thanks a lot for the call this morning. How about next up, we talked to David, calling us from San Diego this morning. Hi, David. Welcome to the show. Good morning, guys. Happy Easter. Yes, um, my question is for Captain Mike. First off, I've been on the boat a bunch of times and got a really nice 65-pound bluefin on my spinning reel uh, nice. last wow. year, which is kind of cool. But uh, I was looking at your schedule, and I saw that five-day, and was wondering what your plans are for that trip. Uh, the, you know what? Last year, we did the, that trip was a four-and-a-half-day um a little unorthodox. We had um, some weather down below, but we uh, ended up having very, very good fishing at Colinette. And, you know, that, that was in November. Um, we actually, I think we were probably the first ones to find that stuff. Nobody had fished down there. We were on our way down to San Martin, and we were just making uh, poor speed due to uh, current. And I looked at the water picture, and 73-degree water on Colinette, and it was clean. We went in there, and we had really just phenomenal fishing on that big grade yellowtail. Anywhere from 18- uh, to 30-pound fish. Jeez. We ended up... Going from there to the Tanner, which is a 170-mile yeah, move, but move. The, the first afternoon we were there, we had over 200, uh, around 200 yellowfin. I mean, it was very, oh, very good wow. fishing. Followed it up. But those trips, uh, you'll probably see Benitas or Cedros. It really, it depends on where the fish are and what's going on. Um, if we ever do get Guadalupe open back up, you'll see a lot more five days. But uh, th- those trips, there, it's limited to 18 people, so it's a really light load oh, on a big one. Wow, yeah, no and kidding. So far, the last couple of years we've done them, they've been such uh, such good trips. we we, we got to keep it going. And cool. book early, right? Book early, yes. Yeah. Especially on a lot of those uh, sponsored trips. There you go. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Jillian in Pacific Beach. You're up next on Let's Talk Cook Up. Hi, Jillian. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning. I have a question regarding... Bird schools. Uh, I know that when the captain's looking, when the crew's looking, they look at the birds and they'll say bird schools and everything. And so we know there are fish around, but what is the activity that the birds do that really alerts the crew to the fact that there are fish below as opposed to just fish, uh, just birds flying around? If the birds are working, um, and, and it depends. I mean, if you see turn birds, the little white birds, I mean, they're almost uh, golden uh, as far as looking for spots of fish. If you see them picking bait, uh, for one, you know, if, if bait's swimming on the surface and they see a bird above them, they're going to try to swim down. If there's fish pushing them back up, that's kind of where you, you get that. I mean, the last thing the bait wants to do is get eaten top or bottom. But if there's bait being pushed up to the surface and there's birds picking on them, it's it's because there's there's fish underneath them. And that's uh, whether it's um, seagulls, shearwaters, terns. I mean, what a just if you're out in an area and you see birds picking the water like that, that that's a sign to at least go take a look. There you go. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Hey, when we come back, we're gonna find out what lucky anglers go on fishing aboard the tribute. We got more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way on the Mighty 1090. <laughs> This spring and summer, Angler Management continues to offer the finest four- and six-pack operation and great value. Angler Management Sport Fishing and Captain Bob Aronson have developed the ultimate charter operation aboard two fine boats. A 35-foot Cabo Yacht Sport Fisher for up to six anglers or a 26-foot Scout for up to four anglers. Now you can catch everything from yellowtail to tuna aboard these magnificent boats. Come join the Let's Talk Hookup sponsored trips or check out amsportfishing.com and book your own charter. Meet the Innovation Award winning Yamaha V6 Offshore Four Strokes at 300, 250, and 225 horsepower. These Predators are up to 73 pounds lighter than the competition. And with class leading 4.2 liter displacements, they're up to 19% faster and up to 17% more fuel efficient at cruise RPM than comparable four strokes. And now they're available with Hellmaster, Yamaha's fully integrated boat control system. Meet the next generation of Yamaha V6 offshore four strokes today at your local Yamaha dealer. Hellmaster available with V6 is purchased only as part of new boat packages from Boat Builder Partners. For Rancho Leonero, here's John Ireland. Since uh, the fly fishing craze has come on, uh, I'd say a good 30% of our business now is fly fishing. Jeff DeBrown does a great job. He's our, uh, our fly fishing guide and the uh, fishermen in particular, fly fishermen, love to run up and down the beach on the quads, and they catch a lot of rooster fish. In fact, they're not known for taking artificial lures, but they're a sucker for flies. And they'll catch everything else, too. They catch elephant, they catch marlin, sailfish, throttle. 
and they like the program down there. It's very relaxing, and people are, feel like the ranch is, is their home. It's, it's certainly at the getaway, or their secret spot, I guess would be a better description. And uh, and then number one uh, comment that we always get is, don't change, don't change a thing. Our emphasis, just like it always has been, is we don't change. We'll make our program better, but we don't change it. RanchoLandero.com. Fish and Mission is the best way to get involved in the growing sport of kayak fishing. And Fast Lane Kayaks in Mission Bay will host this great event every Sunday in April and May. Now you can take part in a kayak fishing trip with a professional guide and a top-of-the-line, fully outfitted 2015 Hobie Mirage Drive Kayak. And kids are welcome, too. A five-hour, fully guided kayak fishing trip on Mission Bay, including use of the latest model Hobie Kayak, fishing gear, and more. It's Fish and Mission with Fast Lane Kayaks in Mission Bay. Easy to sign up online at FastLaneSailing.com or call 619-222-0766. Sign up soon. They will sell out. Welcome back to Let's Talk. Hook up on the Mighty 1090. The big winner of the trip going fishing aboard. The tribute is going to Mike in San Diego. Mike, congratulations. You heard everybody talking about it. It's such an awesome boat. You're going to love fishing. Yeah, Mike will be in touch with you and uh, die in on a, on a trip. So yeah. thanks, Mike, for that. Uh, Captain Mike Pritchard. Now, Tuna Wars. Let's talk about Tuna Wars real quick. We do... Um we did this trip last year. It's uh, it's all for Friends of Rollo. So what a uh, a great charity. Take kids fishing, get them uh, introduced, and especially with the last couple of years, what a great time to get kids no doubt. Uh, interested in fishing. I know uh, a couple of friends, uh, John and Melissa, are listening right now, and they uh, texted me and said their their daughter Tatum. Which you look at uh, little kids like that that are so. I mean, we need them. Oh yeah, man. We, oh we yeah. Need... And this is the perfect year to do that. And Captain Paul Hebert. Paul From Hebert, Wicked Tuna, the Wicked Pissa was going to be on your boat, right? And he will, and he then will be versus, on the tribute. Versus the uh, Eclipse, right? Dave Marciano will be on Dave the uh, Marciano. Eclipse. There is still plenty of tickets left that I know of. Yeah, and um, all the money goes to taking kids fishing. To Friends of Rollo. And, and so how do you get kids. on that trip? Um, That's a darn good Rollo question. RolloKids.com. As far com. as uh, going online. Yep, just go to RolloKids.com. And, and I think you, you, there's still uh, enough room to where you can pick the boat. But we What's did that trip date? last year, uh, June 16th through the 18th. It's a two-day trip. Um, we donated uh, the two-day trip, and so nice. did uh, Mark from the Eclipse. It's very you generous. Like, that's yeah, great. that's really cool. Now, if somebody wants to go aboard the Tribute out of Sea Forest Sport Fishing, wants to go on a day trip, a five-day trip, a day-and-a-half trip, how do we get a hold of you? TributeSportFishing.com, um, or you can go to SeaForthLanding.com. Or you can definitely give Seaforth a call at 619-224-3383. Uh, most of our weekends are gone. There, I think we still have a couple, um, and we do do charters. Uh, there you go. We more specialize in bigger groups. So if you're looking at a group for 28, 30 people, something like that, um, you can email me, Mike at tributesportfishing.com. And you'll get them on the And trips. what a great year to, I mean. Oh, this is a trip. This on. is the time He's to book your it. trips. Thanks, oh, Mike. We sure Mike. appreciate you coming in the show. And thank happy you for Easter. listening. Happy Easter to everybody. Hope you have a great and safe day today. And next Saturday, Craig Heber from NOAA will be in the studio with us next Sunday. Another great show. Captain Brandon Hayward from the Bite Journal and One Man Charters will be right here. Thanks for listening today. Happy Easter. We'll see you next week right back here on the Mighty 1090.